I have wired up a potentiometer. It's a variable resistance. Uh, some places call it a dial or a dial relay. It's this kind of looking thing, this kind of looking thing. These are the same thing. They have different values to them, different ranges to them basically for how much resistance they will um, create. And literally it's just a dial kind of thing. Turn one way, turn on the other way. Um, the numbers that come out of it for the computer, all the way to one side is one. And as I turn it, you can see the numbers changing. I'm thinking the micro bit has a quicker refresh rate than the uh, LCD screen because that number changes quicker. So all the way was one and all the way to the other side should be 1023. It's going to get there. Boom, 1023. So, you know, use that number as inputs for if if statements. You know, if the number if the number gets below here or above here, do this kind of thing. Um, dials are pretty um, accurate, pretty precise, much better than like photo cells, which, which are really flexible. I took three uh, female to female jumpers, put them on A0. You can use any of the analog uh, input ports. You got to use the three here. You can use these two because we need three. We need a voltage, a ground, and a signal because if you can notice here, maybe you can't there are three connectors uh, the signal is connected to the middle always now the left and the right it doesn't really matter um, if you connect it one way all the way counterclockwise will be one and the other way will be 1023 if you flip the connections around it just flips which way the dial goes that's all so again the signal has to go to the middle and then the two sides are the, the voltage and the ground. Um, and again, I put them on analog because it's not a zero or one. It's a whole range of numbers. And the code is just read analog pin. And that's all you got to do. I didn't even get rid of the... Uh LCD because I wanted, I wanted the uh, array to show the dial also. So I you know, set up a variable called dial, read analog pin zero, set dial to analog pin zero, show the dial, show the dial. That's pretty simple for input. It's a matter what you do with that input. You know, you want it to uh, speed up uh, a motor possibly or change the uh, angle on a servo. Now the servo you have to convert with math the 1023 maximum number down to the 180 maximum number of uh, the dial of the servo. So you're basically dividing by five point something. So that's the, where those uh, all those math. See, it's got a math bracket there. Yeah, that's where you use those for. Uh, you could use it to change the brightness on a LED. You know, use that as an input for brightness on the LED. Lots of ways you can use these. Simple and easy to wire. Just put it on A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, uh, because they're analogs. Three wires, three female to female. Boom. Again, simple little dial. All the way to one side is 1, all the way to the other side is 1023.